Today we are looking at Article 19, Clause 1, and it says, A person charged with a criminal offence shall be given a fair hearing within a reasonable time by a court. Um, maybe we should begin with you, uh, because you are in charge with, uh, of criminal prosecutions in the country. What would be your explanation of this and education to the people? If you look at Article 19, 1, there are some key words and phrases. You look at fair hearing. You also look at reasonable time. So the first question about fair, fair hearing, what does it produce? It starts from the very moment that a person is arrested. Who arrested that person? Was he arrested by the police? Was he arrested by a civilian like you and I? If he was arrested by the police, was he notified about the reason for his, his arrest? If he was placed in custody, before they took his caution statement, before they took his caution statement, did they advise him of his right to a lot of his choice? If he volunteered a statement, did he do so out of his own volition? And if he was placed in custody, was he kept within the mandatory period or he was kept outside that period? Then you, you move into the courtroom. Mm. In terms of his trial, if the person does not have the resources to engage counsel, and he needs the service of a lawyer. It is the duty of the state to the legal aid commission to make available to that accused person or that suspect a lawyer, provided that accused person meets the threshold. And if the person is taken to court, can his case be heard on the same day, convicted and sentenced? That's another question. Mm. It's possible depending on the plea that the person gave. If the person says he's guilty, that ends the matter. But can a judge, for instance, on a single day, an accused person says he's not guilty, call the first witness, prosecution witness, second prosecution witness, third prosecution witness, close the case of prosecution, as the accused person opens his defense, close the case and deliver judgment on the same day, certainly, such a process will not be fair mm. to the accused person, and the trial will not be fair. With respect to reasonable time, it depends on the offense that the accused person is facing. Some of them, you may need to have time to go through the processes, especially indictable offenses. There are other offenses where the accused person will also have the right to file appeals against interlocutory rulings. So it, it may even take three years for the accused person to go through the legal process before the court comes to a fair conclusion of the matter that amounts to a reasonable time. Mm -hmm. So these are my initial All right. thoughts on Article 91. All right.